Yo everybody, what's going on? This is Keegan from K-Man Reviews. If you enjoyed this review, make sure you hit that like and the subscribe button. And if you have any opinions at all that you would like to share, make sure to leave them down in the comment section. Mid-Air Thief. Crumbling. Mid-Air Thief is the alias of an anonymous South Korean musician, singer, and producer. And I'll admit, up until about three weeks ago, I had no idea who this artist even was until I got a request via my Discord server, shameless plug, link in the description. Anyway, I did my research as I usually do, and when I said anonymous, I mean truly anonymous. Very little is actually known about this artist, other than I believe that they go by he, him pronouns, and that he's from South Korea. There's not even a picture of the guy on the internet. The only known photo that is actually believed to be him is this photo right here, where he's being covered up by a rabbit mask, as he's next to this album's one collaborator, Summer Soul, who helped write lyrics and contributed some vocals. To my initial surprise, this album has received critical love and praise, topping several year-end lists, winning one Korean Music Award, and ended up as the 7th highest ranked album on Rate Your Music for 2018 as of recording this video. For reference, let me just remind you what came out that year that this album has topped on that list right now. Pusha T's Daytona, Denzel Curry's Taboo, and JPEG Mafia's Veteran. That's a pretty impressive resume, all done by mostly one guy and this album, Crumbling. And with all that out of the way, let's just dive right in. What are my thoughts on Crumbling? Let's find out as I review this album, track by track. Since I couldn't find if there were actually any singles, we will just start at the top of the track list with that being why, question mark. And wow, this track alone gave me pretty valid a reason as to why this album is as universally loved as it is. It opens up with an unnerving 30 seconds of ambience before a gentle acoustic guitar breaks the silence as we get both Thief and Summer on vocals, and they're mixed in a quiet, foggy way and bring in this atmosphere that feels like I'm walking in the rain on a full moon night. However, it doesn't take long for this album to completely blow me away with this aurora of synths building up into this sudden digital drop that somehow feels natural. It's shocking to hear just how smoothly this kind of transition can be between two polar opposite genres. After that though, it fades out pretty quickly, mutating into this tornado of various little plunky sins, and then this stampeding drum makes its way out of nowhere that's actually pretty hard with the aforementioned synths. It's such an unconventional song, yet in a very captivating way that I really can't look away from. Really good song here. These Chains is an absolutely gorgeous song. It opens up with Thief's borderline whisper singing accompanied by a hazy guitar pluck and this whirlpool of instruments, much like on the opener, which builds up around the first minute mark into this dense blossom of the beat before we get this transcendental vibe with the continuous barrage along with a slow, pounding bass drum that morphs again with a glitchy onslaught of synths and a breeziness to the guitar. After that, the intensity fades and the song continues on an understated note with colorful jabs of what sounds like a xylophone on a very peaceful haven at this point in the song. However, that does not last long at all as the song goes out swinging with energetic guitar strumming and these immaculate drums that feel so fresh. It's just such an unexpected closing moment, but it feels so appropriate at the same time. Amazing song. Gamandut, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, starts off on a bit of a different leg. Instead of some ethereal folk ambience like the previous two tracks, it's got a pretty steady toe tapper of a beat, something to just snap along to. I love the skipping high tempo drum, the childlike chimes in the background, and the minimal blissful harmonies that give the song a cozy sweetness to it. That beat goes on for about half the track before it slows down naturally, reverting back into that calm vibe with the light vocals and delicate plucking of the guitar before jumping back into the original beat for the final leg of the tune. It's not as adventurous or borderline chaotic as the previous track, but this is definitely the most instantly catchy and accessible song so far on the album. I love this one. Curve and Light has the same kind of feeling that Gaman Dut does in that it's a pretty catchy song for most of it, but instead of being mostly a straight line, this song adds in sudden genre and tonal switches like the two opening tracks. It starts off a retro-flavored synth jam before we get a brisk acoustic section with a subtle guitar melody that is very infectious as it progressively gets stockpiled with more and more synths, all leading to a mellow breakdown with various buzzing and beeping synths orbiting around Thief and Summer's easygoing vocals. 
which then turns into a lumbering hypnotic beat with the synths gradually getting more and more shrill, the vocals getting higher, and then it just hits this climax with synths sounding like zippers being pulled. It's such a lush and grand peak, which just fades away as quickly as it started. Very magnetizing experience of a song. Love this one too. Crumbling Together seems like it's meant to be the centerpiece of this album, both in terms of how it's the title track, along with it being nine and a half minutes long. And yeah, I'd say it fulfills its role pretty well. Opening up in a similar way to most of the album, with a gorgeous spacey folk section with acoustic guitar and deep ringing synths and pillowy vocals from Thief, which goes on nearly uninterrupted for the first three minutes before this twinkling synth wall constructs itself firmly around the beat, as Thief's vocals soar ever higher to balance out the song, and that moment was just spellbinding. The wall continuously breaks down and is rebuilt a few times, like this roller coaster ride that I don't want to get off. After two minutes of that, it relaxes back to the intro beat for a bit, before Thief's vocals gain a shocking amount of intensity, and then that synth wall comes back for a few seconds, as the song finishes with some peaceful beachside ambience with waves crashing and that same acoustic guitar that kicked off the song. Such a journey of a track as these lyrics seem to tell the story of an unfortunate relationship built on tumultuous circumstances, and how as they were building up this foundation of their love, it just comes barreling down abruptly, and now it's just empty. I know I haven't really been mentioning lyrics as much in this review, but that's because I don't think understanding them is essential to enjoying this album. I just liked how this was so poetically written I had to bring it up. But even despite the language barrier, this is still an amazing track and certainly is the heart of the album. Protector is a pretty good song, opening up with that same light guitar and these harmonies that almost come off like a barbershop quartet with how the effects are, and this slowly becomes more and more electronic with the synth melody sinking with the guitar, leading to a haunting breakdown with unnerving, thunderous bell rings, feeling like you're in an abandoned ghost town. After that section, the synths return, twinkling and shimmering like shooting stars, as these strings pulsate gracefully, absolutely gorgeous section of the song but then soon dropping back into another breakdown that smoothly builds with more beeping synths and the guitar getting progressively faster in tempo before that same twinkly synth and string section reintroduces itself, fading out around the 4 minute mark as it kind of hangs in this mid-tempo limbo with piercing synths and lumbering percussion for the final moment of the song. I do like how intricate this one is compositionally, and yet again it's an entrancing vibe, but this was the first track in the album that didn't wow me, especially since coming after Crumbling Together and just the first half of the record, period. Those are hard standards to follow up. Still Honestly is a great track, but it's kind of left in the shadows of the songs prior. Dirt gives us a pretty great rebound after Protector. I especially adore the acoustic opening on this one. It reminds me of Cave Town with the deeper melancholic guitar and the sweet yet submerged vocal melody, adding in some chiming synths and a much sunnier guitar and cymbals. Summer and Thief trade vocals and they both do a really good job in making the vibe feel like a sunset while you're just floating on a cloud. Unfortunately, the sunset has to end, and does so when the breakdown comes in with Thief's vocals breaking this silence like a lone voice in an abyssal cave. The new gentle guitar plucking and harp-esque synths introduce this new vibe of a starry night that turns into a bit of a heavier indie rock sound with an amplified drum. Silence once again encompasses the mix as this cycle continues a few more times, most notably with some synths that almost sound like brass. Much like Crumbling Together, this one is a roller coaster of rises and falls, and much like that track, I don't want to get off the ride. Especially on the final rise about 5 minutes in, where the buildup is just so nuanced, and then it turns into a perky, upbeat indie pop instrumental with a steady and flavorful drum and opulent synth embellishments. And the ride comes to an end with the final minute being the same downcast atmosphere that the opening started with. God, just an amazing song here. And finally, the closer No Answer is the shortest track on this album at just three and a half minutes, and it opens up as this appropriate piano ballad to finish off the album. And the piano here just feels so defeated and hopeless as Thief's voice echoes while Summers responds accordingly, like calling out to a forgotten soul. The following guitar, synth, and drum work is absolutely beautiful, slowly getting more and more grandiose with some familiar twinkling synths, and then just as you're really getting into it, it disappears as the song ends on some desolate ambience, closing off this album. Sure, it may not have given me too much to say, but I couldn't see this album ending in any other way.
overall, I mean, holy shit, this praise is certainly justified with this album, in my opinion. So lush, so gorgeous, just an incredible accomplishment with just two people working on this album. It's amazing how so much of this feels human, which is extremely impressive since the actual vocals seem to take a backseat and let the monumental instruments speak. And my god, it just sounds so nice, from the relaxed, more traditional folk side to these complex, intricately woven synthetic webs that just trap you in this serene cosmic experience. Not a single note on this album feels out of place. Yet despite all that, I don't think it's perfect. As I mentioned before, I wasn't crazy about Protector. It didn't stack up with the rest of the songs in my opinion. But another gripe I have with this album is that after giving this a fair share of listens, I started to notice that in an album setting, these tracks can become a bit samey. Most of them share a pretty similar formula. So sure, while the album is an amazing adventure, it can kind of feel like, you know, taking the same great adventure over and over again. It is still great though, I'd say all of the tracks on here are amazing individually, and aside from those admittedly minor nitpicks, I can totally see why this album is getting so much love, and I'm right there on board. I'm feeling a 9 out of 10 on this album. Well guys, hope you enjoyed that review, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.